Now we want the user to be able to view their own profile. And by doing this, we can output any information about them on that page. And then in the next part, we're going to look at listing all of the users that are currently registered. And then you can click on their names and find out about them as well. So the first thing we want to do then is just add this to the navigation. So let's go under views, templates, partials and navigation. Um, if the user is signed in, we want to show this link. If they're not, we obviously can't view their profile. So let's create a link here. Let's just put a hash for now and we'll say your profile. So now if the user is authenticated, they see this link that they can click through to view their profile. And the way that we want this to work is we want this to link to something like you forward slash and then the name of the user. Obviously, this isn't found at the moment, uh, but that's what we're going to be doing. So let's create the root for this. So under roots, um, we'll create a new folder called user. And then under this, we'll create a new file called profile.php. So for this, we're going to have a get, obviously. And we're going to say you forward slash and then username. Now, this can be anything at all. It really doesn't matter uh, what you have in this URL. It's entirely preference. So we're going to use app. And because we're sending a value here through the URL, we want to pull that username in there. And then we can just echo that username out for now. So let's add this to our roots file. So let's pull this down and say roots user profile. And let's navigate over to this again. So remember, we're using the username tabby. So we're going to say you tabby. And we see tabby output on here. So we can use this value within our root to look up that particular user. If they've not if they're not found, so if we can't find a user, we can show a 404 page. Otherwise, we can render a view and show their profile. So we're going to say user equals app user where the username equals that username we just sent through. And we're going to grab the first record. Now, this will be null if that can't be found. So we can say if not user app not found. And we will, by the way, be looking at custom 404 pages a bit later on. So we'll be uh, finding out how we can do that. So let's check out this again. We see nothing, but if we have a user that doesn't exist, so Alex, for example, we see a 404. So now what we want to do is we want to render a view and pass that user object into that view so we can output anything we want about the user and use all of the methods on our user model. So we just say app render user profile.php and to that view, which we haven't created yet, by the way, we'll pass the user model. Okay, so let's create the view then, and then we can see uh, what else we can do here. So under views, we want to go and create a new folder called user, and then we want to create a new view, and we'll call this profile.php. So user profile. So tabby is a user that can be found, so we're showing the view. And in this, in this view, as usual, we just want to take the basic template structure and paste it in there. Okay, so in the title, what we're going to do is actually going to show the user's name rather than show like right profile or something like that. We actually want to output the user's uh, full name or username. So we can do this. We can just say user get full name or username easy and let's go ahead and refresh you can see their website tabby and uh, at the moment obviously we're just showing home here don't confuse that with the actual home page this will be the profile details displayed down here so what do we want to output about the user well let's create uh, an h2 and let's put the output the user's actual username And then down here, we can output their avatar. So we can use the same method that we use on our navigation, get avatar URL. Uh, so all we need to do here is say, get avatar URL. And we can pass in a size here of 30. You can obviously change this. And in here, what we'll do is we'll say 
profile picture for user dot get full name or username. So now we have the following tabby in uh, header and then we have the user's profile down there. Cool. So now we're going to do some other things. We're just going to output uh, everything that we currently have about the user. I'm just going to do this in a in a DL and then we're going to have some DTs and DDs. It's a little bit messy, but you'd want to style this how you want. And the first thing we're going to check for is if the user has a full name. So remember, we have that uh, get full name. We're just going to co-course user models. We have that get full name method, which if we don't have a, a full name, we just output null. So we're going to say if user dot get full name. And if we are going to uh, have a DT element and say full name. And then we have a DD here. User dot get full name. So at the moment, that's not going to output anything because the user doesn't have a full name. But when we get to updating the user's profile, uh, this will have a full name in. So we'll just enter the name in there. And we show the full name. So next thing then is just going to be the user's email address. So we're going to say user.email and that's it. So we now have a user profile showing the full name if it's available, showing just the username up here, the user's profile here and their email. And obviously uh, when you get to the end of this series and you want to expand on this system, you can add as much information here as you want about, about your user. And just lastly, what we want to do is update the link in the navigation to go through to this page. So for that particular user's profile. So what we want to do then is open up our templates, partials navigation, and we can go ahead and update this here. Now you'll probably have noticed we didn't give this route a name. So we need to do that now. We'll call this user dot profile since we're going to have other user related pages as well like listing all of the users and we'll update our user profile route to have a name of user dot profile so the question is really how do we from this pass in the user because at the moment all that's going to happen we just go back to the home page so when we click uh, your profile we just get you and then we just see that username uh, value there that we expect to be filled with a value. So the way that we do this then is we pass an object in to here with the name of the placeholder and then the value of that particular uh, placeholder. So in this case, it's auth because we know auth holds the user that's currently authenticated and then it's their username. And when we go over here and click your profile, we go through to our profile. And there we go, done.